My name is Thomas Bayes Hollis, and I went into the Navy Reserve after I served active duty, and I was a lieutenant senior grade. In both cases, the Atlantic and Pacific, was the submarines. But more in the Pacific, it was the kamikaze airplanes that were coming over all the time. That was the main problem in the Pacific for us, the kamikazes. Now, they didn't only have airplanes, but they had suicide swimmers and they had suicide boats that came in to hit our ships. We had 1,300 ships at Okinawa. These are supply ships. They take care of whatever is needed on the beach. Ammunition, food, whatever. They carry the tanks that went ashore and so on. So it was a, it was a big operation. It was probably the biggest fleet operation of the war with so many ships involved. Well, I didn't worry too much about it. It's battle. We were more concerned about the submarines as we went up the Pacific to Okinawa. There's submarines all over those waters. So we were concerned about that more than anything. I just knew I'd jump overboard and <laughs> swim around and have a shark take my arm off or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I didn't worry too much about it. I was a young kid, you know. I, things didn't worry me much. <laughs> this is part of life aboard a ship. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being on the ship. Well, actually, there were two torpedo boats. I'm here on the, on the fantail with my gun crew. And here's a torpedo boat, and he dropped his torpedo and it started to come towards us. Over here is another <coughs> torpedo boat. He drops his torpedo and it starts to come towards us. All of a sudden, the captain turned the ship like that. So one went this way, and this one went that way. We were right between two torpedoes. And I'm on the fantail, and I see the torpedoes, I see the whole action. It really didn't bother me. I thought, well, I guess I'm going to have to jump in that ocean. <laughs> but we didn't have to do it. But uh, it's quite a sight to see torpedo, two torpedoes coming through the water. And you can see them clearly. And they're headed right for your ship. <laughs> we were at Ieshima. We were anchored right there at Ieshima, right beside the island. I would say about six inches. I could see them coming so clearly. Oh yeah, we opened fire. And there were destroyer escorts, they were opening fire. So they disappeared and the torpedoes kept coming at us. <laughs> well, the cap is on the bridge. The signal officer on the bridge, the lookouts on the bridge, they all saw it and reported it and so on. They could see it as clearly as I did. We were just stand by watching. We watched them leave the, sh the ships and go on their landing craft onto the beach. We were only onlookers. My ship didn't have anything to do with uh, the landing people. It was quite an operation. Well, it's a sight to behold. And fortunately, the Japanese let us land without any trouble. There was no, no action at all on the beaches. The Japanese were high in the hills looking down, but they didn't, they let us land. They didn't give us any trouble landing. It's after we landed that we started to climb the hills and then we ran in, our men ran into the enemy. That's when the fighting began. But along the beach there was no fighting. It was heavy bar bomber, very heavy. 
it's quite an operation uh, uh, to see these landing ships leave their landing boats, leave their ships and go aboard. And then to see no action on the beach. The Japanese let us land without any action. It's quite a sight. Mostly destroyers, but there were battleships there. We had a couple of aircraft carriers. Uh, just a mass of ships. It, it's quite a sight. And then to see the, the the landing boats come off the ships, and the tanks come off the ships. Uh, it's quite a sight. Well, you know, you just see them. They, they you, you, you see the flash, and then you see the ship slowly sink and go down, and that's it. It's uh, it's just part of the operation, and you, you you don't think too much about it. But there's war, you know. We're in war. We're fighting a tough enemy. So. You just sort of normally look at it and you do the best you can in your situation. But it was quite an operation. Now I must tell you about one other time we almost got sunk. We were anchored beside the USS Comfort hospital ship. And this kamikaze came in and I'm sure they wanted to hit us because we had the identification, we had all this high radar, and they knew we had an animal aboard. So I'm sure they wanted to hit us. A Jap suicide plane tore this gaping hole in the side of an American hospital ship. After machine gunning the plainly marked and lighted vessel, the pilot dove this plane into the Mercy ship 60 miles off Okinawa. 29 died in the blast. The 31 wounded are removed at an advanced island base. Nurses were among the victims when the plane plunged into the surgical section of the ship. At the time of the savage attack, the Comfort was loaded with battle casualties from the Okinawa action. The dead reached their final resting place in the service cemetery on the island base. Many were men previously wounded on Okinawa to whom the extra shock was fatal. They are mourned by the nurses who strove so gallantly to save them. Yes, BE Day has come and gone, but we still face a Pacific foe capable of slaughtering wounded Americans. Buying that extra bond seems a small thing to do. Wounded veterans of Okinawa are carried off the hospital ship USS Comfort at a Pacific base as the Comfort reaches port despite damage caused by a Japanese plane attack. One side of the Mercy ship is smashed. Twenty-nine helpless wounded men are killed by the fanatic Japanese pilot. The unarmed, plainly marked hospital ship was brilliantly lighted when attacked. Although the Comfort, USS Comfort, and uh, they weren't sunk, they were just hit and damaged. Well, you know, a little smoke went up, and we could tell the ship wasn't sunk, it was just something burning on the top of the ship. and. Uh, you know, it's just normal. It's, 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 you're used to seeing it or knowing that it's going to happen. So, I, I, there was no difference in my attitude towards it. That's, this is war. And we're fighting a tough enemy. No, we didn't have to. They, they took care of themselves. Yeah, they, they took care of it. So we didn't do any help. Of course, we were there if they needed us, but they didn't need us. 
it wasn't a bad damage. It was. But it was damaged. The ship was damaged. So those were the three experiences I had with kamikazes. <clears throat> it was no fun. <laughs> General quarters just constantly. As soon as we had an alert, kamikazes come in, general quarters. Now, if you're eating dinner, general quarters. You just leave your dinner and eat, go to general quarters, you go to your battle station. So you didn't eat your meals on a normal basis. You didn't get your sleep on a normal basis. It's general quarters or, 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 or stand your watch like I did, deck watch. <laughs>